if your inflammation is raging out of control, if you're somebody who's used prednisone and helped you feel better, if your energy is so low that you feel like you don't even know how you roll out of bed in the morning, then you need to watch this episode on the cortisol inflammation epidemic. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Jordan Reasoner, and welcome to this week's episode of SC Lifestyle TV, where each week we give you one simple, actionable step that you can use towards a better digestion. And today we're talking about the cortisol inflammation epidemic. So this is really important, okay, because I want to share something with you. At this point, we have about 400 private clients. And in the process of working with 400 private clients, I can count on one hand how many people have sent in a saliva panel from BioHealth that showed that they did not have low cortisol, that they were not in adrenal fatigue. One hand out of 400 people, okay? And I would tell you that 85% of them are roughly in stage two or stage three adrenal fatigue, given the test results they're sending in. Why is this important? Why does this matter to you? I'm gonna share two really important things you need to know about cortisol right now. Okay, so when you have adrenal fatigue, when you have stage two or three adrenal fatigue, your cortisol gets very, very low. And that's the take home point I want you to understand right now. Your cortisol gets very, very low. So the two things that you really need to know about cortisol right now. One, cortisol is the body's main anti-inflammatory hormone. So your body uses cortisol when it's at healthy normal levels to be able to maintain inflammation Keep it under control because it is a healthy immune response as long as it doesn't rage out of control, right? So why is this important? Well, if you're somebody with inflammatory bowel disease, right? You got inflammation going on in your body. If you have joint pain, muscle aches, right? If you got brain inflammation, you can have depression and anxiety. If you have inflammation in your body that's raging out of control, if you have chronic inflammation, cortisol could be one of the main reasons. The second main thing you need to know about cortisol, it influences over 2,000 epigenetic on-off switches for your immune system. Now, why is that important to understand? That's a lot of epigenetic on-off switches, okay? Your body has a lot of epigenetic on-off switches. It turns them on, turns them off throughout your life. What that tells me is that cortisol and your immune system are like this. I mean, they are very influential over each other. Okay, cortisol plays a critical role in your immune system functioning properly, okay? So think about the clients that we have. Most of these people have IBS, celiac Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, GERD, acid reflux. They have digestive issues. They have inflammation issues. And 85 to 90% of those people have extremely low cortisol. So i just give you two examples of why that could be related to what they're feeling. And right now, I just want to give you an idea of what's going on here. So when you're in stage three adrenal fatigue, okay, your cortisol levels could be very, very low. I'm talking 50% of a healthy person. And right now, I'm going to show you a picture. These are my saliva panel test results from years ago when I was in full-blown stage three adrenal fatigue. You can look at my levels. They're below 50%. They're like 48% of where we like to see cortisol levels on these panels. Okay, I was at an 18, 19 instead of being at a 40. So I was walking around with 50% of the cortisol production of a healthy person throughout my day. Okay, and I'm going to take it to the ne next level. I'm going I'm to show you just a bunch of my clients. Just, just take snapshots of a bunch of these tests. So boom, 50%. Boom, less than 50%. Boom, less than 50%. Less than 50%. Another one, less than 50%. Okay. So, you, I don't need to keep showing you these. You get the idea. Most of the people who are coming to us because diet's not enough, they're doing everything they can, they're just not feeling well enough, they're sending in these saliva panels and they have less than 50% of the cortisol levels of a healthy person. Now, how, if you have 50% of the cortisol levels of a healthy person, how is your immune system going to function well? How is your inflammation going to be under control? It's not. It's not. And that's why this is a cortisol inflammation epidemic that we're seeing. So if there's one thing I want you to take away from today is that there is this cortisol inflammation epidemic. And if you're struggling with inflammation, if diet is just not getting you where you need to be, if you have low energy, fatigue, if you have inflammation, if your immune system is just going nuts, 
If pregnisone is something that worked for you and you have a hard time getting off of it, you need to look at these saliva panels. You need to look at your cortisol production throughout a day. All right, so here's what I want you to do next. Okay, I want you to go work with a practitioner who understands functional medicine, who understands adrenal fatigue, who can run these biohealth saliva panels. If you're a male, I want you to get a BioHealth 205, okay, a BioHealth 205. That's going to be the saliva panel that includes your stress hormones and your sex hormones. If you're a postmenopausal female, you can also get a 205 run, okay. All it is is four saliva samples, morning, noon, afternoon, and evening, okay. And as long as you're not on any steroids or anything, you can get the test done. So go work with your practitioner. If you're, if you're a premenopausal female, you need to order a 201, okay, a 201 saliva panel. And that's just going to be the stress hormones, cortisol, DHEA. Okay, so get those panels ordered. See where your cortisol levels are at. See if you're part of this cortisol inflammation epidemic that we're seeing with so many people right now. Okay, and the other extra homework you can do is you can go read an article I wrote called Why Cortisol is Good for You. Okay, that's going to be a little more in-depth on why cortisol is important and it's important to make sure that your levels are normal. Okay, so this has been Jordan Reasoner with SC Lifestyle TV and we gave you one simple actionable step this week, which is to get your cortisol levels checked. And share the love. Share the love. Want to know what happens when your cortisol levels are too high? You turn into the Incredible Hulk! <laughs>